The member sizing involves proposing a suitable size for a reinforced concrete beam. The layout and the size of the members are often controlled by the architecture details and the clearance of the machineries and equipment. Such details can be obtained from the architecture plan. Engineers must either check that the beam size are adequate to carry the load or alternatively propose a suitable size. Before that, you need to conduct a preliminary analysis in order to determine the maximum moment and shear acting on the member for you to ascertain the suitable dimension. The beam dimension involves the cover of reinforcement, the width of the beam, the effective depth, and the overall depth. The strength of the beam is often more considerably affected by the depth of the beam instead of its breadth. To estimate the size of the beam, normally we look into the span to depth ratio and the breadth to depth ratio. The span to depth ratio referring to the ratio of L divided by the D, it should be ranging between 14 to 30. For larger span of beam, the ratio can be greater. As for the breadth to depth ratio, we are looking at the range of 1 per 3 to 1 per 2. If a deep beam is used, a smaller ratio is commonly used. Under the circumstances where the depth is limited, such as you do not have sufficient headroom in the architecture drawing, white shallow beam can be used. But you know that white shallow beam is not economical because of the fact that the strength of the beam is more pronouncedly affected by the depth than its breadth. The beam should also not to be too narrow as you may have problem with the minimum spacing between the reinforcement bar due to the cover and the reinforcement bar size. In the case that the beam of less than 200 mm are being used, during the serviceability check, you should check for the minimum bar spacing. These are the common size of the reinforced concrete beam used in the local industry. For normal beam, 150 x 450 are commonly used for residential and shop houses. Normally for the beam shorter than 3 meter or for the beam with low load, 150 and 300 may be used. When the beam is required to support double layer wall, this dimension may be used. The other size may be applicable depending on the needs of the engineers. Normally, we are looking at the B to H ratio somewhere between 0.3 to 0.6. When the ratio is less than 0.3, the beam becomes too slender and when the ratio is more than 0.6, the beam become quite shallow. These are the steps to determine the size of the member during the preliminary analysis. First, you determine the care factor based on the moment resistance. You may choose whether you want to have compression bar or without compression bar. In case that you do not require compression bar, the care value should be limited to 0.167. If you choose to fully utilize the compression bar, you can limit the care value to be lower than at per FCK. With that, you can try and error and propose a suitable BD size. The selected BD size is then substitute into this equation for you to determine the maximum shear resistance of the member. 
your share load should be less than the share resistance of the member so that it doesn't fail in share if you prefer the share reinforcement not to congest on the certain area you can choose to have the share load to be less than 50% of the share resistance of the member you also need to check for the L per D ratio from Eurocode table 7.4 N this table gives you an L per D ratio for the concrete which is highly stressed and for the concrete which is less stressed you will need to check the condition of the beam let's say it is a simply supported beam and the reinforcement bar is lightly stressed so your L per D ratio will be 20 you may adopt that L per D ratio of 20 to check with the actual L per D ratio the actual L per D ratio should be less than the L per D ratio that you obtain from the table by the time you have accomplished these three steps you have already decided the B and D of the section now you need to find the overall depth of the beam the overall depth of the beam is obtained by having the depth of the beam plus the size of the shearling plus half of the diameter of the reinforcement bar and plus the cover of the concrete 